Hello, I'm the Commander Xander. I remember it so that a Xander critic doesn't have to. And neither should you, as we were along with Sam Elliott Month. And delve into a movie that... Let's just say they cut clips from Spider-Man, Batman, stuck in Sam Elliott for a brief roll, and you get thank you for smoking. A movie that kinda has the same format as Morgan Spurlock's famous Super Size Me documentary, except it's not a documentary, it's just a movie that kind of documents the impact of a person who promotes a certain product that everybody hates, and then changes hearts. Kind of one of those movies. And it's gotten a bit of a rave that I feel that we're delving into seeing as how Sam Elliott, even though he has like a brief role in this, he's in this movie, it's Sam Elliott Month, so we're going to do it. So, without further ado, I hope you don't like smoking. Because if you do, ooh, you're going to learn the badness of it. This is Thank You for Smoking. Credit for the movie does go to Fox Searchlight Pictures. And no, this is not for monetary purposes. This is strictly for review. As we delve into this, start our movie with... What else? An old school song with... Oh boy. Yes, Aaron Eckhart, the guy who played Harvey Dent, a.k.a. Two-Face, in the Christopher Nolan fame Batman movie, is in this movie, as is Mario Bello. For those who don't know Mario Bello, well, you need to watch the last season of NCIS, because she played a pretty major role in that. And yes, Sam Elliott is in this movie, albeit a brief role, as is the first Rachel Dawes in the Christopher Nolan trilogy. And Rob Lowe. Yes, you have a star-studded lineup, and actually, this is actually a decent movie. Oh yeah, and did I mention J.K. Simmons is in this movie? Or else I wouldn't have mentioned Spider-Man. And you'll see why I mentioned Spider-Man. We start this with... Yuck. Ooh, tough, tough crowd, tough crowd. On this planet, know what it is to be truly despised. Can you blame them? And now you kind of see why it's kind of like the Morgan Spurlock, because Aaron Eckhart's character also plays a bit of a narrator in this movie. And uses graphics, much like Morgan Spurlock's documentary. And me, Nick Naylor, the face of cigarettes. Would you like to freaking do this review for me? Because, again, if there's one thing I can't stand, it's a movie that has a narrator doing my job! They recognize from C-SPAN. These guys realized quick if they were going to claim that cigarettes were not addictive, they better have proof. This is the man they rely on. That's lab rats. Profit off of the loss of this young man. Now, I hate the Watch this reaction. I, I, I absolutely love this guy's reaction. It pretty much speaks for itself. Along with that kid's reaction. You're being a douchebag in front of a poor victim here. Now watch the other guy go off. To think in such callous terms. But if anything, we'd be losing a customer. It's not only our hope, it's in our... Watch the shock. And the disgust. And the piss off people. Let me tell you something, Joan. And please, let me share something with the fine, concerned people in the office. In case you didn't figure this out, he's promoting a bad product known as cigarettes. Cigarettes aren't really bad for you, uh, compared to all the other stuff that kids take nowadays. Oh, I don't know, like frogs and toads and... Which medically can also be bad, better for you. A $50 million campaign aimed at persuading kids not to smoke. Because I think that we can all agree that there is nothing more important than America's children. Yes. Sorry, now that's something that we're gonna to want to know more about. That's mixed I messaging. Hang on. Oh boy. He doesn't get a chance to rebuttal. This is J.K. Simmons. And boy does he ever reprise his role as uh J. Jonah Jameson. The name VR came from his tour in Vietnam. The people who know Yes, his job is at the Academy of Tobacco Studies. 
get you a couple subway posters. It's not going to impress anyone. That's the idea, Nick. You'll be thanking me soon. It's like they took a clip of J. Jonah Jameson from Spider-Man and a clip of Harvey Dent from the Batman, uh, the Dark Knight movie, and pretty much combined them into this scene. Now, if we were to actually do it, it would kind of sound a little bit more like this. He's a criminal, that's who he is. A vi who is Spider-Man? He's a criminal, that's who he is. A vigilante, a public menace. You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Kind of like that. Now let's move on. Get your great press. I gotta call the captain and see if this is gonna fly. Get your ass back to D.C. Obviously not thrilled that he did a promotion ten times more than what they were supposed to do it for. And then goes off to the school. Oh, this will be fun. Yeah, let's have someone promoting a bad product for kids come to school and promote this bad product for kids. Because I'm sure that's going to work out well in the end. Just watch the clip. We all look forward to this coming out of the show. Little Our world. She's the woman that got the Pope to endorse Red Wine. This is Mariah Bella, for those who don't know. And yes, as I mentioned before, you need to watch the first, uh, the last season of NCIS because she did play a major role in that. Unfortunately, in between this movie and that scene, uh, role in NCIS, really not much. And playing a minor role in this movie, one of Will Ferrell's compadres from Anchorman and Talladega Nights. Look, if you see her going in for a hug, maybe she box her out get in before she does. Bobby J works for safety. The Society for the Advancement of Firearms and Effective. Why am I not surprised that his character plays this kind of role? He looks like the kind of man that's meant to protect the rifle and all that. Because you know the Second Amendment, we do have the right to bear arms. This is his wife. Nick. And her new hubby wubby. You can see why the two split up. How dare you promote a product that's bad for our kids? We're splitting up! Fine, but I'm just going to continue to make millions and millions of dollars promoting this product, so you're lost. Let's hope you're providing a smoke-free environment for Joey, that's all I'm saying. Brad, I'm his father. You're the guy fucking his mom. Wow. That was unnecessary. Yeah. But he is a douchebag, so he kind of plays that part. Most of the actors smoke already. We see him in his wonderful meeting with his boss. What? Well, it's a thought. I was hoping for something a little more inspiring, but at least you're thinking. Rescue people, slam your fucking brains against your desks until something useful comes out. Some boss. That was awesome. Nick, you've been summoned. Captain wants to see you. He saw the Jones show. What do you think? Get your ass on the next flight to Winston-Salem. Ooh, that could be good. Now, you know who taught me that? No, sir, who? Fidel Castro. Oh, for crying out loud. What is this, a drug lord? Do you remember He's that? having a meeting with well, what I proclaim to be a drug lord. Good lord. Talking about the importance of tobacco and all that stuff. Afterwards... You should have a wheelchair. You should have trouble talking. The guy from Jurassic Park and probably some other movies that you're familiar with, I can't remember because I don't see him as often, is in this movie playing the opposite of Aaron Eckhart's character. He's trying to lure tobacco away because it's bad. Ba Wait a minute. Vermont, where the... Ch okay, how dare you mention Vermont and cheese. Vermont is not known for cheese. Wisconsin's known for cheese, damn it! What is Vermont really known for? Nothing! So we just slapped on cheese and we're going to insult the Wisconsinites who are watching this clip. 